Right, tell you had a chance, the new Surface Book 3. Is it any good? Well, let's find out. Now, I already have a few videos on this content creation compared to the MacBook Pro 16, compared to the new XPS 15, and even the MacBook Pro 13. I have a gaming review, so I'll leave a link in the description to those videos. And in those videos, you can see the full performance of this laptop. And if you like those kind of videos, come on, sub up, hit that bell, you know what to do. But the new Microsoft Surface Book 3 comes in two models. You have the 13.5 inch and the 15 inch. Now I will tell you later on why I reckon the 13.5 inch is the best one to get. Now these things are expensive, there's no doubt about it. In the descriptions you'll find the latest prices. The model I have here comes with Intel's 10th generation Ice Lake CPUs. And this is a nice CPU bump over the Surface Book 2. We get better graphics in these, not only on the CPU, also discreetly. I have the 1660 Ti model. You can also get a GTX 1650, now it's not TI. And if you're a business, you can get the RTX 3000 Quadro. I don't know how you get that, but apparently that's an option. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, you can get up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. And it is LPDDR4X, so it's the super fast RAM. That is non-upgradable. Actually, nothing is really upgradable. They do have faster SSDs, although mine was slow as the base 256 gig. And you get that awesome 3x2 display, which of course detaches, so you can use it as a tablet as well. Build quality is superb. It really is. Like Microsoft really make good products. They're durable. The keyboard is amazing. I don't even have to say any more about it. It is just an amazing keyboard. Trackpad's right up there. It's a bit small and it is loud, but the trackpad is good. But overall, build quality is superb. Now, it may look dated compared to, say, the latest XPS 15 with those bezels and that. But some people say it's better to have bezels because you can use it as a tablet. Oh, I don't agree with that, but um, it is what it is. It's still top draw build quality. You know, magnesium, it's just nice. Now, the 15 inch comes at 4.2 pounds, which actually isn't that bad. And the 13 inch comes in at 3.38 pounds or 3.62 pounds, depending if you get the i7 or i5. That's just because of the cooling. Now for ports, this is one disappointing area for me. You do have two USB type A's. You have one USB type C, which is power delivery, and you can charge through that as well. You also get the power slit there, so you can connect the normal Surface power connector. So it's good that you can do both, right? USB-C or use the Surface connector. Also get a combination audio jack and you do get an SD card reader. So that's awesome. But no Thunderbolt 3. Now they say it's for security. That is rubbish. That's not why they didn't include it. They haven't included it on any of their laptops. And a lot of people think, well, you can get a Quadro and you don't need it because you don't need an eGPU anymore. I'm not even worried about an eGPU. I'm worried about more displays. I'm worried about 10 gig networking. If you're going into an enterprise it's going to have 10 gig networking, you know, a place that has workstations and stuff. You know, they've got large assets, files. You can't be messing around with gigabit Ethernet. And looking into the security concerns, first of all, they didn't demonstrate it working with the latest Windows or Mac OS patch. They've had plenty of time to do so. They haven't done it yet. Also, it requires physical access to your computer. If someone has physical access to your computer... The last thing you have to worry about is your Thunderbolt port. And also the guy that apparently works at Microsoft that come up with these security concerns also said, the reason we have soldered in RAM is for security because someone's going to get your laptop. They're going to open it up. They're going to freeze your RAM and they're going to take the data. What planet does this guy live on? That's what I want to know. I've heard some real BS statements on why RAM is soldered in. That one takes the cake. It's irrelevant. If someone has physical access to your computer, you're done. And by the way, we're getting cyber attacks in Australia. It's just nuts. So this would be so much better if it did have that Thunderbolt port, but most people won't even care, so whatever. The display is really good. 3x2 display. It's nice, bright, vivid. Around 400 nits of brightness and did measure 100% sRGB. So it doesn't have the widest color gamut out there, but... Yeah, whatever. Now for performance, go check out those videos I was talking about before. You'll see all the performance figures there. You cannot upgrade anything. So who is this for? Well, I think the 13.5 inch is the way to go. Because if you compare the 13.5 inch compared to the other Ultrabooks, it blows them away. It has a GPU, has the versatility of being able to take off the screen. Maybe you don't need that. But even if you don't need that, it still has a GPU and Ice Lake CPUs. So it's ahead there of 99% of Ultrabooks, even like MacBook Pros, XPS 13s. It's going to be better because it has the GPU. But when it comes to the 15 inch, if you're not going to use the display, 
You're not going to take it off. You're not going to ride on it like an artist. Of course, these are great for artists. Being able to take that screen off, flip it around, use it as an easel, use it as a tablet, draw on, Photoshop, Illustrator, that sort of stuff. You cannot compete with this in that regard. But if you're just going to use it as a normal laptop, there's better 15-inch, 16-inch solutions out there. Now, I'm not saying you can't video edit on this. It's going to be great for video editing. If you watch my video compared to the MacBook Pro 16 and XPS 15, you'll see it's really good. But if you're not going to use those features, there are laptops that are better. They have better displays, wider color gamuts, brighter. They have much more powerful CPUs. We're talking 6 to 8 cores, 45 watt parts. They also have Thunderbolt 3. Now when it comes to GPU, the 15 inch still is really good. If you really need the GPU, a 1650 Ti or 6 gigabytes of video memory, yeah, maybe you can go to the surface in this regard. Because it's more powerful than the XPS 15 when it comes to GPU. Compared to the Mac, probably not now that it has the new graphics options. But in saying that, I think the other laptops are just better balanced. They still have good GPU power, but they have much better CPU power. So if you're not going to use the unique Surface features, as I said before, I recommend you probably go with another 15 inch. But if you're going to 13 inch, definitely the Surface Book 3 is like pretty much the king here because it has that GPU. That's what gets it over the line from those other laptops. And also great battery life. Now the 15 inch, I got around 10 hours battery life. I did expect more. You get like 13 hours battery life with the 13 inch. So anyway, I like this laptop, but make sure you get it for the right reasons. Catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.